This is Twit. Suzanne in Huntington Beach, Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Hi, Leo. I, I was wondering if you could help me with um, a decision to make for my 81-year-old mother mm. who has XP and Doomsday is coming very uh, on us very quickly here. <laughs> and um, she's not really good with change. And I'm afraid that the Windows 8 may be... No, no, no. Let's keep her on XP. Is her machine working all right? It's a little slow. Um, I did get on your... And I, and I uh, read some things about what you had recommended for the... Ubuntu. Ubuntu. I wouldn't even do that. Oh. That's going to really confuse her. If you think oh, okay. <laughs> Windows 8 will confuse her, where do you get to Linux? Okay. No, no. Uh, you know, I've kind of modified. I, I too, thought this XP thing was going to be Armageddon. Uh, okay. But my security guru, Steve Gibson, who does a security podcast with me called Security Now, talked me down off the ledge. Okay. He said, really, it's not going to be that bad. What you've got to do is the same thing you would have to do if you were using any version of Windows. Practice safe computing. Well, I've been hearing you say that all day. <laughs> and you can get mom to do it. Okay. First of all, one thing, and I, by the way, I had my mom using Windows 2000 for years without problem. And it's basically the same as XP. Okay. Simply by making her use a limited user account. I said, and I even gave her the password to the administrator account. You may not want to do that. Uh -huh. Depends on how much, how many times you want your mom to call you. Because as a limited user, she can't install software. There's things she can't do she's going to need the pa administrator password for. But you have to make the decision, is she going to use it safely? Because the, once you're an administrator, man, you're wide open. Well, how do I find out on her computer if, 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 if there's, she's a limited user or she's not? She's not. I guarantee you. Almost always people use it as an administrator because it's so much easier. Okay. And, it, and by default, it's set up that way. So can you go to her computer or is she distant? She's distant. Okay. That makes it a little more difficult. Yeah. Um, if you could... The easiest thing to do would be to set up a new account on her system uh, that, and make that the administrator account with a different password. I used mom's password backwards. Uh -huh. So she only had to remember the same one password as always. Uh -huh. But enter it backwards, she could be the administrator. So that might be one way to handle that. And then make her account, the one she's been using, downgrade it to a limited user or in some versions of Windows they call it standard user. That's a person who doesn't have the ability to install software. That single change eliminates more than three quarters of all vulnerabilities. Boom, just like well, that. But how do how do I find out where that? I mean, where is that on the? It's in the users control panel. User, okay. Like I, I have my own and my Win See, I have a Windows Seven. That's what I wish she it's had. It's very similar to that, and you should do this too. Okay. Well. So, so do it yourself first. I'm going to tell you the three things I want you to do. Okay. So that's number one. Do it yourself first. You go into the control panels, users. You create a new account, call it administrator, call it whatever you want. Give it a password. could be the backwards of your regular password. That's a good uh -huh. one. Uh, then log into that account, or if you have to, sometimes you don't, but log into that account if you have to, to downgrade your main account. Continue to use your main account. Just make it a standard user account. Okay. That's one. Two, especially on XP, you cannot upgrade XP, Internet Explorer XP, past eight. They, they, I mean, they're really making a hash of this Microsoft is. So what you have to do is use a different browser that is being kept up to date. That's Chrome from Google. Right. Use that. It has its own Flash, so you can uninstall Flash. Flash is a big problem on, on, on Windows machines uh -huh. because people don't update it ever. So just uninstall Flash, uninstall Java if she has it, uninstall um, Shockwave if she has it, uninstall... Adobe Reader, if she has it. Those things are things that will get called automatically by the browser. Bad guys know that. They also know that these programs have flaws that are not patched. Bad guys will create a, a damaging um, uh, PDF or a damaging Flash file, have it in the web page. The browser automatically launches it. Boom, your mom is hacked. Okay. That's scary. So right. get rid of all that stuff. So get rid of And so don't you... So Use Chrome. It's got okay. Flash built in, so she's not going to even know you did it. <laughs> and Chrome updates itself automatically. Right. Well, I downloaded Chrome onto mine because I was using um, AOL and some some um, sites I couldn't. They were saying you have an out of date browser. You need uh, something else. There you so go. I downloaded, yeah. downloaded the Chrome. IE is uh, is problematic. That's so. That's two steps. So one step limited user. Two steps to use Chrome instead. Third step is make sure Windows updates are automatic on her machine. Right. And, and now it won't matter after April 8th. Right. <laughs> but on your machine, it does matter and will continue to matter. Make sure you're getting those updates and update all the other stuff that goes online, too. Very important.